All right, we're up. All right, so uh, today we're going to show you how to do some mold problems, but before we only learn how to do maybe grams to moles, moles to atoms or molecules, or moles to moles. We're going to do multi-step mold problems, so it's kind of exciting. Uh, the class is excited. Are you excited, class? Yes. Wow, all right, mixed reviews, mixed reviews. We'll see. Uh, but hopefully you, you have your mold map, you have your periodic table. This was a gift. You're going to need that. And you're going to need your calculator. Okay, that being said, uh, we're going to start on the first problem right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see that. And on this problem, we're going to have none other than Dan read this one off. Dan? During the reaction, 132.8 grams of NaOH are produced. How many moles of H2 must also be produced? All right, so for this first one here, since I have 132.8 grams of NaOH, that's going to be my substance A. So I'm going to put a little A next to it because that's what's given. All right, and then what I'm trying to find is how many moles of H2. So that is my substance B. All right, that's the one I'm trying to get to. So I'm going from grams of what's known some moles of what's unknown. Question over there. Oh, I just, I had an idea to think of how we're going to do it. I like it. I like it. I, are you going to tell me on the mole map? Can you? Uh, yeah. Nice. We're going to go from oh, okay. the grams from mole A to the uh, moles of mole B. All right. Do you see what he's saying? He's right on. He's, he's saying we're starting here. We're going to then go to moles of A, and then we're going to go to moles of B. Did we lose anybody? All right, so there's three bubbles needed, so I'm going to make three bars. All right, so I put one, dos, tres. Put my three bars. I start off the same way we've been started all the time. So, Mackenzie, do the honors here. How am I going to start? Um, Okay. Over one. Over one. All right. And then what units have to go on the bottom of the second bar? Does anybody know that? Steven? Awesome. That's our... Now, this is new to us. Where do I go next? Well, Joe was trying to tell us that according to our mole map, our second bubble on our mole map, because our first bubble, or our first bar had grams on top, so our second bar is going to have what on top? Moles of the same substance or the new substance? Same. Same substance. So I put moles, and I'm just going to use N for moles, NaOH. I have not switched yet. Now, following that same system, guess what? Goes down here so that they cancel out. Moles. NaOH, so we still have to have moles of NaOH, so they cancel out. But now, the top of our next bar. You, all right, now you're getting it, Zach. What are you feeling? That is going to be grams NaOH. That is going to be not grams of NaOH. Moles of H2. Because now we can switch to our new substance. So check your mole map with me here. All right. The top of each bar should be equivalent to what the bubble says. So we have grams of A, grams of A, moles of A, moles of A, then moles of the new substance. So we're good to go. Now, what numbers do I put in there? When I see moles and grams, all right, Zach, you feeling it? Can I solve the grams one? Yes. So it would be Na. Mm -hmm. All right, Na. 23. 23 plus, plus 16 plus 16 which is 39 plus H 1 which is 1 good Zach so that would be 40.0 grams and that's per how many moles? 1 mole so anytime you see grams you're going to look it off the periodic table and that's the equivalent of 1 mole now Becky I feel bad about myself, but anytime you see the moles on the moles there, you're supposed to look away. 
No, I'm Becky. <laughs> Where do you find those numbers from? Peekaboo. <laughs> Not peekaboo. All right. <laughs> so we look to our recipe, correct? Yes. All right. Now there's no number by H2, so I want to put up one. one. But there is a number by NaOH. Two. two. So no problem with this multi-step one. It's 132.8 times 1 times 1 which is basically 132.8, divided by 40 times 2. Divided by 80. Divided by 80. So you let your calculator do the magic, and it should be maybe 1 point... 2.3. Oh, oh, I divide by 1.6. 1.6. It's 1.7. 1.7. All right. So 1.66... All right, you can put 1.7 if you would like. Okay, on there, that's fine. But the key is, according to my units here, I'm going to follow them. Grams cancel with grams. Moles of NaOH cancel with moles of NaOH. So what do my units dictate here? Moles of H2. Awesome. So now we've just done a multi-step. We're going to do one more together, and then I'm going to send you off with a freelance partner. All right, so let's try number three, because two is a little easy. All right, so number three. Donia, you tell me what A is, substance A. It's, um, Oh, for number three, sorry. Number three. Oh. We're skipping to three. Uh, yeah, does everybody see that? Whatever is given is going to be my A. Now, what's my B? Let's go with um, Nicole. What's my substance B? Grams yes, grams of FeOH3. That's my B. So now look at your map. This one's going to be different than number one. If we focus on our map... We're going grams of one substance to grams of the other. How many bars do you think we need to do this one? Turn to your neighbor and just double check, see what they're thinking. Yeah. If you want to, some people were thinking you would try to swim across, but there is a shark. This is the mole shark. You cannot swim across, all right? You have to go here to here to here. So four bars. Those of you who guessed four, well done. All right. So let's make this happen. You're going to put four of them. Bless you. Bless you. You hold that in. Uh, even you at home, uh, you hold that in. It's not good. Yeah, well, not. Nah. Well, I think it's the hair follicles and so forth are supposed to detect any impurities coming into your body, try to stop them. So you sneeze to try to get those impurities out. Yeah. You don't want to stop I hold them. Out. You hold them in? Yeah. 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 Good. All right. Alex, you're my man. Alex, how are we going to start this one off, Alex? Uh, 88.2 grams of water on top. Good. Now that automatically, Taylor, tells me what units go on my next bar on the bottom. Okay. Now I might need to refer to my mole map to see what my second bubble is. All right, so you could go back to your mole map, see what your second bubble is, and it says moles of A. What was substance A again? Water, right? So I'm still going to put moles of water. Does everybody see what I'm saying there? I'm not switching substance just yet. Now, once I have moles of water here, just like a good mathematician, moles of water are going to go down here so they cancel out. Now I can use my mole map again to see what should be on the top of the next bar. Now can I switch substances? Yes. And the answer is yes. Now I can go to my new substance which you may or may not be aware is called iron hydroxide. That's not too important. 
but FeOH3, I can now switch. Now if they're up top, the magic rule is they got to go down low. Notice I'm getting all the units set up first, and then I can go ahead and plug in the numbers. Now I can go to my mole map and figure out what should be on the top of the last bar, which is grams of B. Does everybody see how this is shaken down? Okay. Now check this out. Becky's going to find her mole to mole step. This thing? Yeah, that's this one right here, the mole to mole. That one's probably the easiest one. You just go to the recipe, right, and pull down the numbers. Okay, so I'll let Becky kind of focus on that. But let, oh, yeah, go ahead. First one would be two. two. Second one, three. three. Now, now you've got two, but they're kind of like the opposite of one another, right? They're just flipped. So here's what we know. We know we're going to put a one with the term mole. And we know where to look to find grams. All right, so I'm going to put a 1 and a 1. Where do we look to find the gram amounts, people? Periodic table. Yes, you guys are good. So we look up the periodic table. Zach's on one of them. 18. 18, he says, for water. He's getting familiar with water. No doubt. Dan's got FeOH3? 106.9. 106.9. Excellent. Now it's a matter of plugging this in. We're going to multiply everything on the top and divide by everything on the bottom. All right. Now, Joe, you were kind of confused last time with where we were getting these gram amounts. Mm -hmm. Do you know I, where to I figured it out during the quiz. Awesome. Awesome. Excellent. And when we plug in chug here. Oh, wait. It's the atomic number equals one mole, right? Yes. The atomic number, when you add it up, is going to be per one mole. Got it. All I right. got a different number for grams of Fe2O3. It's not Fe2. It should be FeOH because ah. beets, we're not even using this substance in this one here. All right. All right. So, Michaela, Anna, or Mary, has anybody got this one? Not yet. All right. Batsy's rolling. I got less than that. All right, let's try it. How much? 350? All right, let's check it out. 88.2. Oh, oh, oh. Point 0.2 times 2 times 106.9. Bless you. Divided by 18, divided by 3. So you're right on, Anna. It's about 350, 349.2. Now what my units be? Grams of Fe, whatever's on the top of the last bar, kind of like Zach was saying earlier, okay, are going to cancel out. All right, yes, question. So, that homework is page 13 and it's 12, so 12 and 13? So, yeah, you're going to have some time now to meet with a partner. I think you're going to have time. You have five minutes? Five minutes due to the new schedule. All right, so try a couple more of these. Maybe scooch next to the person and uh, try them out. Joe. I got exactly one half of that. So, you didn't multiply by two on the top is my guess. There is a little two oh, right here. Two. I thought it was yeah. Two. All right. Just a guess. I'm going to stop recording now.